Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. I make videos about interview preparation, HR questions and how I got selected for the major IT companies. If you find this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe. So, I recently participated in the new gen on-campus drive at my college and I got selected for it. So, here's my interview experience and the detailed procedure of how uh, the companies like new gen shortlist their candidates. Okay, so as for the procedure, it's basically divided into three parts. One, first is the aptitude English and the technology test, which is basically a written test. Second is a psychological test or a psychometric test. Third are the interview rounds, which consists of two rounds. One is the technical round and second is the HR round, which is the final round. So on my campus, uh, Nugen came for the software engineer profile offering 4.25 LPA and they also offered a six month internship before, prior to the joining of the full time. The internship offered by them was a six month long internship and they offered 18,000 stipend per month. The internship started from January and lasted till June, July. And then after that, full time was offered to the students who participated well in the internship. Okay, so as for the eligibility criteria, I personally felt that Nugen had a little different criteria from the rest of the companies that visited my campus. First, they preferred only uh, students from CSNIT and rest all branches were not applicable to even perform in the placements for this company. Uh, second, no uh, diploma holders uh, were eligible. Third, it is mandatory that uh, whatever percentage has been like till all the f four, five semesters or till the sixth semester, it was important that the score is above 60%. And also they had a criteria on the 10th and 12th uh, board marks that is above 90% was the b minimum uh, requirement. Uh, because all the pe all the students who ha scored below 90 in 80s or in 70s were not even eligible to participate in the placement procedure. Okay, so for the aptitude English and technology test, I felt that it was a person uh, uh, like personally felt that it was an easy test. Easy, uh, the level was easy to moderate. It was for 90 minutes and uh, the platform they that they opted for was higher pro. Uh, it had uh, around 60 to 70 MCQ questions and like all were based on quantitative ability, computer basics and verbal reasoning. Uh, this uh, Here is a detailed description of all the rounds for aptitude MCQs. You know, you can always go through all the uh, basic topics that we had back in class 10th, all the compound, simple interest, profit loss, percentages, equations, probability, streams and boards. Basically, you can practice all these M MCQ questions online also. There are a uh, lot of websites that, uh, you know, provide you free uh, online assessments, time bound uh, assessments like IndiaBix. I personally use IndiaBix a lot to practice uh, aptitude. Oh, the only key to you know succeed in all these rounds is practice and practice so it's my advice that the placement season is yet to start and you still have a good four to five months in your hand or maybe a little less than that so you can just you know uh, start practicing online it's not mandatory to you know buy those expensive courses or you know take those expensive tests you, you know try to set some time daily or maybe once in two days wherein you can you know create that proper exam atmosphere at your home and you can you know practice these questions under time constraint okay so as for technical mcqs uh the topics were usually from you know all our dsa concepts like array strings linked list and all your algorithms and you know all those basics of computers like about your cpus or your ram rom your storages like and your testing for your devices you know all these basic questions i know there's no uh, like defined syllabus for all this the only key is again practice so you can you know refer to gfg they have a lot of you know good resources and you can just give a read of of all the terms and uh, technologies and you are good to go in this round uh, next was the verbal mcq round again i know some people you know dread this round because it's a little comp like in english you know sometimes there's no right or wrong answer but you know just again practicing is the key so you can uh, go to these websites of exam veda and india bix and all india exams there they have all these you know 
टॉपिक स्पेसिफिक टेस्ट अवेलेबल यू कैन रेफर दैट एंड प्रैक्टिस दैट सो मोस्टली ऑर्डरिंग ऑफ सेंटेंसेज लाइक जम्बल ऑफ सेंटेंस एंड देन यू हैव टू डिफाइन द ऑर्डर और यू मे बी यू हैव टू सेलेक्ट द वर्ड फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स और यू हैव टू यू नो फाइन द सिनेम्स और द एंटेनिम्स और यू नो हैव टू गेस द राइट इडियम्स ऑफ फ्रेजेस ऑल दीज टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन आर यूजली आस्ड इन द इंग्लिश सेक्शन सो या आफ्टर दैट आई रिमेंबर दैट द सेम डे इट सेल्फ पीपल वर शॉर्ट लिस्टेड फॉर दिस राउंड लाइक आई गॉट द मेल विद इन हाफ एन आवर और एन आवर और सो एंड नेक्स्ट वॉज द साइकोमेट्रिक टेस्ट विच हैपेड विद इन लाइक विद इन अ गैप ऑफ टू टू थ्री आवर्स सो जस्ट जस्ट यू नो टिप कीप ट्राई टू यू नो कीप अ चेक ऑन योर मेल्स बिकॉज सिंस द टेस्ट एग्जाम्स हैपन ऑन द सेम डे इट सेल्फ द मेल्स आर सेंट फॉर इन अ वेरी शॉर्ट नोटिस सो जस्ट कीप अ चेक ऑन योर मेल आई डीज ओके ऑन इन योर इन बॉक्स ओके एज फॉर द साइकोमेट्रिक टेस्ट इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल टेस्ट लाइक आई एम श्योर लाइक यू ऑल हैव हर्ड अबाउट इट यू नो दे आस्क यू बेसिक बिहेवियरल और यू नो कंपनी फिटमेंट क्वेश्चन एंड दे गिव यू सिचुएशन इन दैट एंड यू हैव टू यू नो चूज द राइट एम सी क्यू अगेन देर इज नो करेक्ट आंसर मतलब आउट ऑफ ऑल द फाइव ऑप्शन इट मे सीम दैट टू और थ्री फिट बेस्ट सो यू नो चूज वॉट एवर इट्स नॉट राइट और रॉन्ग बट दे यू नो स्कोर यू ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द ऑप्शन दैट यू पिक सो रीड ऑल द क्वेश्चन केयरफुली दिस इज द ओनली टिप फॉर दिस राउंड एंड ऑल दो इट्स लाइक फॉर फोर्टी टू फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स बट सिंस इट्स वेरी इजी इट हार्डली टेक्स यू ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी मिनट्स सो इट्स एन इजी राउंड uh although they said that this was also a shortlisting round I, but i what according to the uh, shortlisted list that came in my college i don't think that anybody was rejected in this round but still uh, answer the all the questions carefully okay after these rounds got completed i was shortlisted for the interviews so like i mentioned interview has two rounds one is the technical and one is the hr round uh, as for the technical round it had only one panelist and the interview lasted for about 30 minutes i think and as for the hr round it also had one panelist and the interview lasted for 20 minutes okay so then uh, it was my technical interview so i joined the meeting and the interviewer he asked me to introduce myself again this this is a one question that is you know asked in every interview or any type of discussions so you know always have the answer to this prepared you know out of nervousness or out of stress sometimes we you know tend to even forget our names so it's important that you have you know all your all the information about you you know ready in your mind and you know all sorted in a proper order like what you should say and what you should not say about yourself so always have this answer prepared some things that you must include are like first of all after stating your name you you should include the name of your college the degree that you're pursuing the your current cgpa or percentage or whatever and also you know mention your technical domains you know introductions drive your interview so mention your technical domains or the technical concepts that you are you know confident in or you are uh, you are interested in you feel confident in and uh, all your the languages that you you know prefer to code in mention those uh also you can you know mention any any of her achievements like if you have participated in hackathons if you were part of any college societies if you were the leader for any of those organizations you should always mention those because you know company not just seeks for a person who you know is fluent in coding and everything but also who who has you know a interest and a skill apart from that also mm, and it's my personal advice like what i used to do for every company na they they prefer a different type of uh, quality from their candidates for example some companies they seek out people who are good leaders for some companies they seek out people who are good team workers so you know prior to any of the interviews always visit their website and you know get a good idea good idea ki what they look for and try to mention that particular quality in your introduction for example you can say ki i am a good leader and you know always and always support all these qualities with some examples ki i am a good leader because i recently participated in a hackathon and i was a team leader and i drove my team well we we won we managed to win and any of those examples you know and any of your team worker spirit like even through online competitions and online events i managed to keep my team intact aise aise you know mention some of these qualities just have a idea what the company is looking for 
ओके सो आफ्टर द इंट्रोडक्शन द इंटरव्यूअर ही आस्ट मी कि वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन आर्य एंड लिंक लिस्ट एंड ही आस्ट मी कि विच इज बेटर एंड वाई सो अबाउट योर डी एस ए कॉन्सेप्ट ना यू नो हैव ऑल द डिफरेंसेज एंड ऑल द यू नो टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटीज यू यू नो ऑल दीज थिंग्स शुड बी ऑन योर टिप्स दीज आर वेरी क्लासिक एंड बेसिक क्वेश्चन दैट आर आज इन ऑलमोस्ट एवरी इंटरव्यू तो हैव ऑल द आंसर्स प्रिपेयर टू दीज so he then he asked me like which is better and why and he asked me which one will i prefer for retrieval of information and for insertion of elements so i answered those then the next question was uh he asked me about sorting algorithms so i mentioned a few like bubble sort selection sort um, insertion sort so he asked me to write the code for bubble sort i shared my screen and on the code editor i wrote the code in bubble sort i like i kept on explaining the logic and everything that i was doing like all the loops and the time complexity everything again a good practice if you can you know explain the logic also okay. then after writing the code he discussed about my personal projects like what all i have done i am a web developer so i mentioned few of my projects so, and then he asked me what is sdlc and some other basic terms and technologies of software engineering he asked me what does testing mean in software engineering models and after all these questions in the end he asked me if i had any questions so again a tip always and always ask something from the interviewer you can ask him like what an ideal day looks like in the life of an employee working at maybe new gen or maybe you can ask him like what all qualities does he seek for in an ideal candidate questions like those obviously don't ask any personal questions but uh, never say no to this question you know it shows ki you are not interested and you really don't have any you know keen interest in joining the company so always ask something and then only you know close the interview okay so then after a day or two i got the mail that i got selected for the hr interview like i short i was shortlisted so as for the hr interview again i joined the meeting and um, the guy he asked me to introduce myself then he like i think i personally felt that this particular hr interview was a classic hr interview like he covered almost all the hr questions he asked me ki why i would prefer new gen so you know sometimes to be very honest even even if you even if that company is not on your first li- like priority you know have that answer in your mind don't just be very honest about it you know have some very good qualities about that company in your mind and say that ki uh because new gen is like for example you can also always say ki you know this company is offering me this this benefit you know again go through go through the website or any of the you know pdfs or brochures that company has shared with you uh, they o- always mention the type of you know uh, benefits they are providing or the compensation that they are providing or you know the type of company they are because since here i mentioned that this is a product based company so i mentioned ki yes i would prefer new gen because it's a product based company and the location is in gurgaon which is near my which is close to uh, where i live actually so it would be convenient for me to go and actually work in the office and the company is again offering me a lot of benefits and you know always attend those pre placement talks also you get a lot of insight about the type of people that that are working there you know they it really helps you to crack all these hr interviews so i you know just mention some very good things about the company don't just keep praising it but mention ki how they are benefiting you and that is why you preferring this company okay then he asked me what um, what my strengths and weaknesses are and he asked me where do i see myself in the next 5 years then he asked me about my family background and a next question that they asked me if i was willing to relocate um again a personal advice you should not you know directly say no if you have any problem in that you can you know very politely or very subtly mention it and but mostly you should try to answer like all these questions positively and try to say yes but again just be very subtle if you are saying no don't just go on and say no i can't because that is very rude so he again asked me if i had any issues talking to clients outside india so 
i said no obviously and you can just you know pitch in one or two more things that it would be great you know it can improve your interaction skills will give you more exposure and everything all the things like that so i mentioned all of that so after this round um, after a few days the results came out and as for the verdict i got selected so any pro tip for this company would be that um, I personally felt like like I mentioned also ki the written test and everything was quite easy the only criteria the only eligibility criteria is a little you know difficult for many candidates to you know uh, go through so if you belong to the CSIT branches and if you have a decent score I think you would be eligible to participate in the placements offered by Newgen and the interview rounds are again very important so just be very confident and you know uh, answer everything in a positive manner and polite manner like i've given you some tips throughout and you're good to go so all the best and if you have any questions or doubts regarding any of the uh, placements or if you want me to make videos on any of the particular topics please comment down below i would be happy to help so thank you <laughs>